hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesperson so today i'm going to show you how to create design attributes in lwc so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and please watch this video until end and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of updates from my side so let's get started without any further delay so i just opened my lwc project so here you can see my lwc project now let me create a new fresh component in LWC so just you have to press ctrl shift p in you know window and just click on this command sfdx create lightning web component click on this one and give the component name you can give any name as you want but uh, mention the meaningful name for the component design demo for example and hit the enter here now you can see this is the fresh component here right so let me design this component first of all and all the properties under this JS as well XML so first first of all we have to configure XML right so for example in this XML we don't have any kind of like target config and something like that so just you have to mention is exposed should be true if you want to use anywhere this component and after that target uh, I want to take this target from here to here so let me remove unwanted things here right so once you did these things now you have to mention another attribute under you know uh, XML that is called target configs so let me enter target config and it's a tag like target and once you type target and then configs so this is the target configs and once you write these things after that you can see here lots of code right but for now i'm not using all kind of uh, you know like codes from here just let me remove it and under the target config we have another things that is called target config so under the target configs we have another child attribute of this one that is called target config once you write these things after that you have to give here that is called targets so target means where you want to use this component right so under here it goes to you in sing, uh, double code or single code based on your need you can use it let's say I want to use under the home page with the comma separate if you want to use this component anywhere based on your requirement so you always use with comma and uh, app page as well so for now I'm giving two attributes here right so after that you have to do one thing once you've done these things now you have to use property so under the property tab like property right so property so this is the property tag under this property we have lots of things let's say name right so we have to give the name let's say full name for example purpose full name and then we have another attribute that is called type so which type of attribute we have this is the string type so always give the string and then label so always give the label let's say enter your full name here right and after that if you want to give another properties of this you know attribute so you can give let's say default value I want to set some default value under in it so default goes to let's say Rohit Kumar something like that right so once you did these things same kind of things you can use multiple property at a time so right now I'm using uh, first name here so let me use this property multiple time right so now here because I need to check uh, let's say text color background color image URL image height and image width as well so this kind of attribute I need so here in the second one you have to remove this one and just give like text color so it says string enter your text color name right and default let me set as red default value red and same here let's say image URL right and say string enter your image 
image URL here and default if you need like some default URL so you can go ahead and you can just paste it here so for now let me open this one and let me copy the Google URL so let me copy this URL and paste it instead of this long URL right so here this is the good one so this is the default value you can use anywhere as you want right after that uh, image height this is the attribute of this image so enter your image height something like that right and default you can give any default value if you want otherwise leave it as it is for, for now I'm not using default here right and same value you can use for width as well let's say image width width and here width here so our config file is done now how to use this config file attributes inside JS so please keep in your mind all the name property you have to use as a attribute in JS so how to use that sorry uh, as a property in JS so how to use that let me show you here so for now first of all you have to import API and once you've done this API after that you have to use at the rate API and then paste it this one right all the property as you have let's say text color and something like that all should be at the rate API notation that is called here right so now image URL here this image URL same thing you can use this one because this is a public property so that's why I'm using API here so public property we can use anywhere anytime any places so just copy this one and just again you have to use like this so all property done now how to give dynamic CSS for this one right so before that let me design this HTML for this one so now under here in the template we have to use card LWC card let me remove rest of the thing and just give here design attributes demo something like that this is the title right and under here let me use h1 this is heading or you have to use like name your full name let's say your your name something like that and you have to use that property that is called full name inside here right like that so you can use like that but uh, uh, my intention is how to provide the attribute as a dynamically so for now you have to use just remove it and you have to use get get attributes here right get property after that get name something like that and just you have to do like this and this dot name right so this is the dynamic so at the time of you know uh, this full name is automatic comes here and uh, I want to print this name inside my you know this one that is called HTML after that you have to use let's say h1 again and text color right so this is a text color and how to provide the style for this one so you have to use like a style and it should be dynamic so how to come here so just go here and just use like get text style something like that right and after that you have to use this one and now you can see this one color and then give this text color right so th this should be dynamically so just copy this text style paste it here and after that you have to use background color right let's say background color and let me remove it first of all and again we have to use get property here get tax background like that so after that you can see this one background color then this uh, you have to use and we have to use this text background instead of this one right so now this one after that you have to use image src image src equals to and it should be dynamically right and uh, just close it and here we have to use image url 
right so how to use that let me show you so get image style and it should be like this and uh, I'm not using uh, that is called here uh, I need URL first right so I'm not using height and width right now so let me remove it this height and width and let me close it here this one that's a background image right and here after that just let me remove it first of all because it's a wrong syntax so here let me remove it this one as well now get background ground image URL right so here that's it so this is the simple way right and just you have to use this background image instead of this one and after that we have to use height and width so you can use height and width in, uh, in this same thing here let's say height right height should be dynamic and width as well like width right it should be dynamic so how to use that let me show you here so you can get here like image height like that now this right image width as well image width like this one so we have done our all the attributes and property inside this file right and just you have to use this image height here and width as well just copy this one paste it here just save it and deploy this component and once you deploy you have to test it it will be work or not now you can see successfully deployed let me open my org and under this org let me close the rest of the things let me add that component inside this home page right lightning app builder home page so now here standard just you can see design demo just drag and drop anywhere as you want now you can see this one right everything is coming now but uh, our you know uh, width and height is not coming because of you know uh, we didn't set any default value so I will show you this one so let me save it first of all and let me show you what is correct and what is wrong here so now you can see your name Rohit Kumar is coming that is correct text color is coming red and ba background color is red so let me change the bag background color first of all in this file let's say background color in this uh, it should be like text color uh, it's a text color red that is correct and background color I need background color first of all we need to check the background color so image text color this is the text color and this is the image so let me check the background color as well so we need to add another property for the background color right so here this is the background color blue so that is correct let me copy this property and let me paste it here uh, here that is called this is a text color full color image URL and uh, let me add API another attribute let's say background color and let me use this background color here uh, image with height and image text background and it should be this one so let me deploy this component again and let's see what happened so once you deploy it now you can see full name text color background color but image not coming here properly so how to debug these things let me show you so first of all you have to check your dynamic CSS is working or not this one so you have to remove it like uh, I don't want to background image like that I need only this type of syntax not all right so just save it let me deploy it and you will be see the image into this component so let me refresh it and let's see so now you can see Google image is coming now right this Google so how to maintain the width and height you can maintain with the help of you know like added image so under this added image you can maintain just click on this component and now you can see each and everything let's say I want to change this red to yellow 
okay so you can change it let's say yellow and once we mouse out now you can see text color is yellow and uh, let me do that one thing for you let's say blue to uh, red or something like that so let me make it red background now you can see immediately automatic change into this component that is the benefit of this you know design attribute you can change the image as well if you have another URL you can just paste it here and it's automatic change it so under here enter your image height let's say I want to give like 500 height right and width as well like 300 width so you can maintain the width as well like this right so it's automatic comes here let's say I want to make it um, 50 and 50 for example so it's not changing maybe some issue let me check it here so let me remove this width as well because width already they are in you know HTML so no need worry about this width as well so let me save it and uh, let me deploy this component again so let's see it will be work definitely so let me refresh this one and let's see what happened so once you refresh it now under this design attribute you have to check the width and height first of all let's say 500 and 400 for example once you did these things now immediately your image is grow right now you can see it's a bigger image you can maintain like a small image as well let's say 50 to 50 something like that like 50 50 so now you can see a small image here immediately it's automatic comes like that let me change it again let's say 500 and 500 for example right so just save it so it's automatic saved into your cache memory and it's automatic reflect into your component once you go here now you can see immediately is a bigger is image and background color blue text color red and full name so this is all about the design attribute in LWC so guys I hope you learn something new in this video if you feel like this is a very informatic for us so please subscribe my youtube channel share like comments and please hit the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss my updates from my site so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching Thank you.